Hi everybody, welcome. I've got some big news for the month of July 2023. Because on the same day as we have a new moon in Cancer, strong moon because it's in its rulership sign, we also have the shift of the nodes. The nodes for the last 18 months or so have been in Taurus and Scorpio. And now they're going to change to Aries and Libra. Now the nodes are particularly significant, not only in our own personal lives, but also as a global community. And they can often indicate certain trends, certain things that we might expect, that we might have to address together and separately. It will be very, very helpful if you can find all the cardinal signs in your chart. Aries, Libra, Cancer, Capricorn. These four points are all getting activated at this time. In fact, it's what is known as a cardinal cross or a cardinal climax. It's when all these four cardinal signs are coming to play and what does it mean so if you can find the four areas in your life you can get a free chart from my website yourastrologysigns.com if you go to reports under free report enter your details and you should be able to find those cardinal points if you don't already know them so from july of 2023 until january of 2025 We've got this Aries Libra energy. So the eclipses will go into the signs of Aries and Libra gradually. And the last time that we had this cycle was 18, 19 years ago, which was in 2004 to 2006. So you may want to look back at your life around that time and see what was happening, the kinds of changes that you made and there may be further movement, further unfolding happening during this 18 to 19th month time. Now, when we're looking at the cardinal signs, we're looking at the seasons, the changing of the seasons. Now, Aries is spring, it's the spring of time. And the North Node just painted it so it's not dry yet see how excited i am in this aries mode in tuning into aries is about new beginnings taking the initiative taking the lead being independent and the north node pushes us towards the unknown towards the things we might be a little afraid of a little wary of but it pushes us so that we grow, that we stretch, that we expand, and we begin to master in a positive way, the energies of Aries. So it's about finding your courage, your confidence, being willing to take risks, taking charge of your life. And we've got the opposite going on in Libra. The South node is in Libra. In Vedic astrology, it is Rahu and Ketu, the, um, the dragon's head, the dragon's tail, I do believe. The south node in Libra suggests a few things. Very often we are moving away from the south node, but I also see the south node as being a place of integration, of talents and gifts that we bring to make the north node more effective. So some of the things that you might experience with this South Node in Libra are changes in your relationships. Maybe you've outgrown a relationship or certain friendships. Maybe it's time to move on and the Aries energy will have you moving on and the Libra may have you holding on. It's also a time to look at where am I people pleasing? Where am I looking for other people's approval? before I'm willing to move forward? What can you no longer compromise in your life? What have you been putting up with and it's just 
not right. These may be issues that come up, issues around codependence, avoiding unpleasant issues, avoiding confrontation, which sometimes sadly is necessary. It can be done diplomatically with the energy of Libra, but sometimes you've got to confront an issue with somebody. And it can be a really wonderful thing if you face something head on and you get your courage, you go in with the Aries, you face it with a diplomatic way with the Libra and everything can come together and resolve. And you can deepen a relationship, maybe, rather than having to walk away from it. So these are some of the issues that I think you're going to be addressing. Now, at the time of this ingress, this is what's going on. So I've covered these nodes a little bit. Pluto's in Capricorn and the Sun Moon in Cancer. So you really want to look at these points in your chart. This is really saying, I feel with Sun Moon and the Moon being in rulership in Cancer, is that we need sensitive leadership, a sensitivity to other people's feelings, emotions nurturing, nourishing, keeping that in mind, that we have a safe place to be able to create the new kind of earth world, your own personal life that you want to create. So that's an energy of safety, security. And the Pluto in Capricorn, well, that's been going on since 2008. And that was when we began to actually have a cardinal climax in the heavens. And here we go again with this cardinal energy, which is very much about looking at your behavior. How are you behaving? Yes, because how do you take the lead? Because you can influence others by your courage to stand up for what you feel is right. It's a time not to compromise your principles and ideals. When you know you're doing the right thing, you won't have any fear. As Anais Nin says, life shrinks or expands in proportion to one's courage. So the braver you are, the more your life opens up. The Buddha said something very significant. He said, peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. So sometimes we look Oh, that person in my relationship, it's everything. They need to change. No, maybe it's me, Aries. I need to change. So these may be things that just come up. So how do you lead in your everyday life? I was listening to a wonderful story by a nun who was telling this um, in one of her talks, one of her satsangs recently. Um, can I remember her name? I can't, but I'll put it in the uh, chat uh, when I look it up. Um, but she said there was a, um, a story about a person who just wanted to brighten up another person's day and was driving through the McDonald's and said, could you pay for the person behind me? We've all heard this, yes. But this was an amazing one. During this person's six hour shift, this went on non-stop. Each car, in fact, one car bought a meal for the following three cars. And for six hours, this didn't stop. And 250 cars bought the next person their food. So what do you have the courage to initiate that might change the lives of hundreds of people? by one small act. And this Aries North Node is by taking that act by the horns and saying, I'm gonna do it. And you may be criticized by others for certain things that you may feel are, are the right thing to do. I mean, I still get it around astrology. Now, thankfully I've been doing astrology for so long, it's not such a big deal. In the early days it was because I was embarking on a career in this area and a lot of my friends and uh, uh, acquaintances just turned their back on me they just said you've got to be kidding and even recently um, 
I can't remember where it came up. I think I had a consult. Yes, I had a consultation with a new dentist. And she said, what do you do? I said, well, I'm not really sure that it's pertinent to a, a dental examination. But uh, anyway, um, I didn't say, I said, I can't say, I think I said I'm in the metaphysical field. And uh, she said something like, I, I don't believe you're an astrologer. She said, you don't look like that kind of a person. And I thought, oh, great. <laughs> I mean, obviously, we didn't go into it any further, but I stuck up for this life that I believe in, that I love, that I enjoy. And I think the astrology is wonderful, but there are still many, many people who uh, don't want to have anything to do with you if you practice this unholy art, according to them. I have a wonderful friend in Greece, actually, who I admire so much against friends, family, um, criticism from everywhere, there's a very high profile court case going on in Greece. I don't want to say much more about it, but just to say there's a lot of controversy about it. And it's been going on for quite some time. And she has stuck up for the person who's in the dock. Like you wouldn't believe she's befriended this person. She speaks to her every day. She encourages her as she's going through the court day after day after day. And she really believes that this person has been falsely accused. And it's just amazing. She's risked so much and is still standing by this feeling that this is not right. And I can't sleep at night knowing this is not right. So is there something in your life that you know is not right and you need to absolutely stick up for it. This Aries North node will have you jumping out of your skin. Okay, that's the energy we're working with. It's very powerful, it's very strong. And something that I felt that might bring this together is, this is my wish, is that every day, can I be a messenger of peace, Libra? and goodwill to everybody through right actions, Aries. Because we're always looking to balance the nodes. It's not about one or the other, it's about bringing them into balance. So I hope that this uh, has been enjoyable for you. I hope this gives you some inspiration. I look forward to your feedback. I've created um, a painting for this ingress. I'm sure if you can see that the fiery energy of Aries coming through. And let's see if there are any Pleiadian Oracle cards that come through. Just give them a little shuffle and see what uh, is this message for this. Okay, let's have a look. Here we go. So here are the cards. Tune into your divine guidance, your conscious, conscience is your divine guidance. You know when you are taking action that is good action and you know when it's not leading to something good and healthy. Explore imaginary worlds. Aries takes you into places that you can only imagine at this point it might not be real yet but it's it's a process of birth and because it rules spring you're springing potentially into a new life and i love this card which is simplicity is your secret because i always think of aries as the fool in the tarot deck which is it's just going it's just moving it doesn't know where it's going it might be going off the edge of a cliff but it's taking action and it's moving. So I hope this helps you. I very much would like to recommend dear Pam Gregory's book about the nodes if you haven't already read it. It's a little advanced, but it's a wonderful landmark book. So you might want to check out her website, which I think is um, the next step 
uk.com but if you look put pam gregory and i'm sure you'll find her you might want to check out the webinar that we did about the nodes i also did an introductory webinar about the nodes in case you don't know very much about them at all and um, in a separate video i'm going to translate these nodes musically for you for those of you who are interested thank you for listening looking forward to your feedback bye for now